Hi guys, today I'm gonna answer a question which was uh, posted in a comment on the channel the other day. Uh, could you do a video on manipulating mass earthwork reports to determine separate volumes of topsoil, sub-base stone and asphalt quantities, basically trying to avoid using takeoff feature? Um, as in every CAD software, you can do everything three different ways. So yes, there is a possibility, however, uh, not easy as far as I was thinking about it. I have loaded one takeoff I done previously. Let's take a look at what we can do. Uh, when you do a takeoff with your takeoff module, you get the um, cut. Uh, you you gonna assign certain um, improvements uh, to to your areas right so building uh, it's yellow for example here uh, this uh, this is uh, concrete paving I have it as orange then I have uh, heavy duty is this dark gray light duty asphalt is this light gray obviously landscaping is green and then sidewalks are uh, this magenta or whatever this blue bluish color now once i have that i hit the build surfaces and it's going to build me a surfaces uh, in uh, in the business center so i would have the og then i would have the finished design and then i would have finished design with subgrades adjusted now uh, then you hit the takeoff report and you're going to get a beautiful report uh, looking something like uh, this where you get all the separate uh, areas and the separate uh, volumes right so here for example concrete paving it's 63.7 cubic meters blah 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 now the question is how would i get those numbers without utilizing a takeoff module so you would you would proceed with the same idea as creating an og and finish design then you would have to drop your finish design to achieve the finish design with a subgrade just the same thing you could drop this surface uh, original ground to to get your area of stripping and then you would be comparing i don't have a stripping on this one then you would compare your uh, original ground or original ground with subgrades adjusted to your subgrades uh, finish design with subgrades adjusted now what you could do is do it per uh, side improvement to get these side improvements i had to basically create um, line work closed line work so this would be my building so then i can run the report uh, surface earthwork report and go surface to surface original grind to finish grade adjusted and i would limit it to my boundary and if we run that we should get the same amount of cut uh, as we oh, okay i have to bring it in here so now we know that in our building i have to excavate 449 cubic meters uh, placed uh, 53.1 so i would have an excess of 395 in the building area now this is all uh, in within a boundary name so as you can see if i were to right click in properties and name this bldg right and then i would let's say do my concrete sidewalks basically select them all and name them sidewalk then if i would do the same earthwork report with all these same original ground or original strip depending on where you are at right and run that earthwork report which hopefully yeah, obviously it's gonna take a couple of still working as you can see so so now we should see oh, it's 
to load it because it, it's doing every single um, closed line and running the report so it's, it's gonna be several pages Right, so there we go. So this was the building before and now we should see it. So you see now we have the name of the building. Obviously, it's going to give you the area of the building. Same number as we had before, but then when you scroll down, you have the sidewalk and this is one of the sidewalks, another of the sidewalks, another, another, another. another. So you would have to pull that information out and put it in Excel or somewhere and get it added up together. And that would give you all the areas for the sidewalk. So then you can add on, you can add on your heavy duty, light duty, and just run like one report. Problem with the Earthwork report is that there is no way of getting that into Excel. So you would have to copy and paste uh, your numbers into Excel. However, you can do the area length count report for the uh, your areas the same idea and I believe that one would uh, that one is exportable into um, area where is it area line count and I believe that one is exportable into the Excel you see save into the C CSV so that one would be easy because you can get your areas then you can basically go through the other one associate those areas with your cut and fill and at some point you can manipulate it and get it out to the to the uh, excel and get some actual like uh, full-blown volumes so as far as i could think of this would be the one way to do it i'm sure there might be a different way uh, maybe if you know it just write it down in the comments and we can take a look at it next time uh, so this is for uh, Will James, James, Will James, uh, thanks for the question, I hope this helped and if you have any other ones just uh, hit me on the comments and we'll take a look at it next time. Don't forget to subscribe, spread the news, we have the Trimble Business Center on the LinkedIn, uh, join that, uh, I, I'm st I started a LinkedIn newsletter, join that and uh, we'll see you next one.